Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time we finished up the Cavern of Chaos and are preparing ourselves to take on the second of the three final caverns. We're going to grab one quick treasure and then head inside. This second cavern of the three is the longest in the game, I believe, at 15 floors. So we're going to obviously break it up today, probably get about half of it done. A little more, a little bit less, who knows. And then we will uh, wrap it up for the episode after that. So let's get started. As you can tell, I've fast forwarded the game a day. I actually spent a recovery day just getting some more yellow Pikmin. I got some sprays using the spray area. But first, just to make this treasure grabbing as quick and efficient as possible. I'm actually going to grab, uh, let's do 15, 15 whites. And then I'll have, um, I'm actually going to have the captain with the remaining crew for what I'm going to do today. You're going to want to have a lot of purples. There is no way, as far as I'm aware of, to bring Pikmin back. Once you're in the dungeon itself, I mean, there's no candy pop buds or anything like that. So just something to keep in mind. So I'll have the captain with the remaining squad here. This loadout seems pretty good. Make sure you get as many as you can. And just kind of hang tight for a second. We've got Olimar with the white Pikmin. And enough time has passed that, um, the enemies have respawned. So that's kind of annoying. Actually, I need to make sure that it's safe over here to bring my Pikmin. Is the Crawmad back? Hold on, I can't see. Oh, he is. Hold on. All right, well, that puts a little bit of a damper on the plans. Hold on a second. Actually, it would make the most sense to probably use my purple Pikmin because the Crawmad is a turd and I hate him. So let's go ahead and split up. You can tell I have a pretty healthy amount of purples. Like I mentioned before, you don't have really any opportunity to bring additional Pikmin with you. So keep that in mind. If you don't bring them now, you're not gonna have another chance to. All right, have you come on out. Oh, come on. There you go. You big dummy, you're mine. Get him. All right, that's fine. Very good. And this is actually the area that I opened up last time. There's a handful of the ground ball sacks that are around covering up the delicious juices. So if you're interested in that. All right, so that should be good. I think if I remember correctly, the final treasure that I was gonna grab was just past this area, maybe. I think I actually do have to do a little bit, wait. All right, let's get rid of these sheer wig grubs real quick. Get them, all right, good. Nope, we don't need to, that's a lot of pellets, just for nothing. Okay, and I think that there actually might be a, an armored cannon beetle. There was an electric fence here, I did tear that down just to save time. Nope, I guess it's gone, okay, that's fine. Well, if that's the case, then this makes my job a little bit easier. I'm just going to have, as you were seeing when I started this episode, I'm just going to have the white Pikmin in their speedy quickness get together and take this back. I don't really think that there's any exceptional amount of harm that could befall them. But I've got the remaining squad here that I will bring with me. I think this is the way to go to get to the, yes, there it is. Prepare yourselves for this one. We're not just going to be bringing this group. I know I, I'm gonna go back and get the uh, white Pikmin, but you know, actually I probably shouldn't have had both of my <laughs> captains fall, that was dumb. Howls of countless creatures ahead, okay. And this is exactly true. So if you were interested in uh, Pikmin, oh, did I stay up on the, no, I didn't. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, um, if you're interested in uh, kind of a 
a boss gauntlet, a la, um, what am I trying to say? Mega Man? Mega Man? If you like that. This is going to be the place for you. Okay, the white Pikmin have made it back with the fourth out of five final treasures. The conifer spire. As you could tell, if you weren't already aware of this, the uh, the majority of the treasures in this final area are seeds. Um, you saw briefly when I was walking around as a mushroom. Just a tip, and uh, I think that's all. That it's like I think that's that's it. It's just it's just seeds and then a mushroom, so, and then the uh, obviously the dumbbell that we got before. But yeah, if you're in need of any sort of berries, whether it be bitter or spicy berries, you can get them both. They grow on the same tree, which I think is a little strange, but... Who am I to judge? Okay. So here we are. Everything that we've done so far should be good. I think everybody is flowered. And we are ready to take on the whole of heroes. Let's do it. Okay, everybody, welcome to the Hole of Heroes. We are outside, somehow, and we are going to be, um, just taking our time. This is a, a dungeon that, first off, is struggling mightily with frame rate, but beyond that, it's got some baddies in it, and you know what, we'll go ahead and have... We'll clear this area out. I'm not trying to make this difficult on anybody. I am very afraid and suspicious. Yes. So, oops. I'm not trying to... This is not what I'm trying to do here. Okay, well, I guess that worked. Um, in lieu of bomb rocks, for this first part, at least just this level specifically, um... The game will be tossing dwarf orange bull borbs at you. For some reason, that is their equivalent of a nuisance. That's pretty much all that I would say that they really are. Um, they die to a hit, so they're not really that bad. I think this might be the only treasure on this floor. The corpulent nut. Nah. Full disclosure, I don't know what corpulent means, but... Oh, there we go. So yeah, just kind of a minor little annoyance. They will uh, drop them, yep, like pretty much anywhere that there is a, a boon. So a, a potion, a treasure, um, and you know, you can go through and collect all the things you want, but I'm not going to bother with it, because this dungeon's nasty and I'm just going to focus on self-preservation first and foremost. So let's go ahead and move on. All right, sub level two. Things are going to get a little spicy here. Um, just a big forewarning is that in this dungeon, ooh, we've already got the swooping snitch bug in our area, which is actually really convenient. Let me get those at. I think this is the swooping snitch bug. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, there's an antenna beetle as well, the one that um, will confuse your Pikmin and your captains. This level is really dangerous, if I remember correctly from what I've seen, is it likes to um, throw bomb rocks everywhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and warn you that after you break a wall down, I would say like, you know, it's really easy just to set it and forget it, walk away from your Pikmin. Um, I would recommend not doing that. Because your Pikmin will, will, as soon as they knock these walls down, they're going to go right for whatever's inside of them. They're coming right for us. And what I would do, what I'm about to show you, is to whistle your Pikmin back. Because this is what's going to happen. Yes. So, bomb rocks galore. You do have a little bit of time. But if you're not being careful and you're 
Oh, there's a Dirigia Beetle. In a, oh boy, there's a lot of crap in here. If you're not careful, um, it's really easy for those bomb rocks to make a nasty surprise. And, you know, you'll see your squad go from a hundo to much less than that, so. Once your squad has had a chance to tear down your your oppressive walls. Oh, I wonder if there's a treasure, if there's someone screwing with it. Okay. So, it's always advantageous if I could give you any advice that you don't listen to, or maybe you do. Um, just do a quick little loop around in the area that you're in, just to see if there's any kind of nonsense going on. And of course, we have the uh, captain stealing beetles, which are really annoying. Um, I wish there was a way to, like, lure it in more, because the dirigia beetle is the one that... Okay, there we go. So now we got Olimar... I would like to, I would like to to meet you, sir. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's just shaking us off. He's like, nah. All right, so we're obviously gonna run away from the Dirigia Beetle and its bomb rock shenanigans. It'd be nice if the um, the Dirigia Beetle and the Antenna Beetle could uh, interact. Kill us really quickly, please. All right, and then move back, of course. Let the Dirigia Beetle do its dumb thing, and then you can swarm it instead. We're gonna move everybody away from this. Stay away. Very good. And then, before it gets a chance to go back into its little arsenal, take it out. Boom! There you go. As far as I know, I don't think there's any enemy-laden treasures, but I could be wrong. Um, I did see some of my Pikmin weren't flowered, which is annoying, because I could have sworn that I did give them all a chance to be. I did pass up a lot of nectar in the previous sub-level though, so that's my fault. Yeah, we'll bring that one around town. Um, we've got another antenna beetle as well as some anode beetles. It's obviously one of these situations where if you want to just power through it and you don't care what Pikmin you have or lose, then that's fine. But obviously, you know, knowing how, how long and hard this dungeon is. I'm trying to be careful here. What is that? Oh, that's the antenna beetle. I was getting confused. The captain stealing beetle is not an antenna beetle. That's what this one is. All right, let's go ahead and switch to this. Does he make fart sounds too? Where are you? There we go. Oh, he's clumsy. Oh, where'd he go? He just shook me off. There we go. Oh, well, you can't do much when you're stunned. It's a stone cold stunner right there. Okay. So that's the exit. Obviously, we're going to have to tear this down, and then we're going to immediately back away. So I don't trust it. These brown walls look like they're a little bit easier to tear down. Get away. Okay. Let's back off, everybody, and do a quick loop around. Safe. Okay. Looks like. No, 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 no. Come back. I do not trust anything in this dungeon whatsoever. If the game is going to throw out any gross nasties, it's going to be here. But it looks like we've got that area pretty well combed. I just need to get the yellows again and very carefully pick off these anode beetles. That should do it. I'm not going to sacrifice my yellows on mass like I did last time accidentally. But I mean, realistically speaking, anode beetles, as you're all very aware of, if I could hit one of them, are definitely some of the least threatening enemies in the entire game. Very, um, just kind of non-threatening, very innocuous. The only thing you gotta really be careful of is the, uh, Dirigia beetles throwing your Pikmin. Or not throwing your Pikmin. Um, oh, that should've hit that, that's lame. Watch out for the Dirigia beetle. Tossing the bomb rocks, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, he's he's locked on to me. We're actually gonna take him out really quickly if we can. We can aggro him. That'd be great. Right. Don't get shocked, don't get shocked. Oh well, you got shocked. What'd I just say? 
So don't do that. Step away, step away, step away. Oh, you big... Mm. We don't get those back. All right, step away. Step away. Step away. Please listen. <laughs> We've already lost three, some of which are our more valuable Pikmin. Yes. Oh, you big dummies. All right. I'm going to be careful with tearing this down once again, because I think this is where the treasure is. Look like it's hidden, which you'll need white Pikmin, of course. All right, we're going to park the bus over here and loop around. Oh, there it is. Right on cue. Game. All right, and then we're going to try to... Would you stop it? The AI in this game. Give me Pikmin 4. Oh, I guess Anno Beetles do heal themselves. That's annoying. But yeah, once you, um... Once you... Surface any pixel of the item itself. Alright, please turn away from this. Okay, good. I think that's the only one. It seems like a lot of the floors in this dungeon, because there's 15 of them, or 14, whatever it is, the... Treasures are probably only going to be one per floor max. So. The essence of true love. Wonderful. All right. So, like I said, one and done. Let's move on. Get the heck out of here. Oh, uh, whoops. Pikmin. Oh, I forgot. It's not often you see that message, but yeah, the uh, the snitch bug buried some of my yellows. I forgot. <laughs> huh. I don't know if there's like a subcategory of people that like speedrun this game, that consider it like 100% is not just getting all of the things, but killing everything. No thanks. Okay, sub level three. One fifth of the way. Oh man, no! Puffy Blowhog right off the bat. About to be dead right off the bat. Deflowering all my Pikmin. I guess the nectar that I was dealing with before didn't really matter. Get him! What's nice about these guys is that when they die, they do physically fade away. What is in here? Probably a trap. I don't actually see anything. That's lame. What? Game, what are you doing? Where's my positive reinforcement? I hate that. Okay. Ooh, we got a watery and a fiery blowhog. Well, maybe this is just a nice little alcove to dip my, my toes into. Let's get my purples. Purples don't really care about your thoughts and feelings. They just... This is very annoying. It's the one downside to actually putting your Pikmin in uh, small spots. You can blow through walls? Get out of here! That is very frustrating. I just like to split up my Pikmin because I don't think that the game does a good job of just giving you what you need. Nope. Can y'all subdivide? Subdivide and synchronize. Here we go. All right. So because purples are amazing, when you toss them into even the deadliest of creatures like the blowhog varieties, watery, fiery, puffy, withering, you can easily take them out. This looks again like nothing. Is this supposed to be like a maze or something? Oh, there is something back there. Never mind. I devalued a treasure. I'm sorry. All right. I'm very suspicious. I'm a jaded millennial. All right. Yep. 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 Run. Run. Run from it. Run from it. No, run. Oh, we got one of my blues. Oh, you butthole. I guess we can take these blowhogs back to get them out of the way. I think it's interesting is those are enemies that have made it all the way through, I believe, through the third game at least, the love sphere. The sphere of love. You can find all of, all of those varieties of the blowhogs through every game, I think. 
All right, is there a treasure back here? Or is this a, okay? Just another stinky lie. I'm really not trying to make any more of this than I have to. But this is annoying, obviously. I'm just trying to get this. Once again, these guys don't deflower your Pikmin, but they do blow you back. So just trying to have enough Pikmin to even attack it in the first point. And there's a puppy Blowhog right behind it. It's a Blowhog Extravaganza. But when you do attack them, you get the luxury of them leaving the arena. All right, Puffy Blowhog. Come here, boy. Show me your whiskers, your puppy little face. I don't like this. Mm. They are the smaller of the varieties, so... Once you get them down, you can very easily dispatch. So far, so good. Only having lost... I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna switch to the purples again. Ooh, he's coming in hot. He, Give them a second to synchronize you. Very good. All right, that should just be a per. Okay. There's one white in there who thinks that he's purple. He's not. Gather. All right. And then we can just pommel these jerks. The one went behind the corner, which is cool. It looks like one isn't enough though. So apparently, you got to double up on your stun potential. Stun potential. Leave it to D-Mike to always be making the fart sounds during his Let's Plays. All right. I do not know where the exit is, but this does not look like it is it. So I will stop wasting my time. That is not it. Is this it? This is it. But I'm going to be careful once again because the game likes to be a little tricky tricky. Okay. We're doing good though. You know, so far, three floors down, only lost four Pikmin. A little bit more than a Pikmin per floor, but, you know. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's move on. Okay, here it is. Floor four. And none of my Pikmin are flowered, which is horrible. Um, I'm gonna see if I can trigger it. There we go. This is the, no, get back. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and flower the squad here. Or not flower, potion the squad, can't talk. I don't know if we can just attack its feet and that does damage to it, or if it's gotta be its head. I don't remember. But once it comes out again, ooh, get him. Yeah, this is the better chance to get him. Get him! All right, I've got a feeling there is a, yes. I've got a feeling there's gonna be an, a burrowing snagger in here somewhere. Just my luck. Nope, stay away. I want you to come out. Let me punch your face. My purples are all grouped in. All right, oops. This is the chance, go. Get him. I think you gotta kind of go for its face as fast as you possibly can. All right, so we got a, we got a handful of my Pikmin. By a handful, I mean three. Oh, the thing. Oh, no, the thing. Because I only got three of my... I think it was my reds. Wait, where am I? How am I... I am super confused right now. <laughs> How am I missing, like, six of my Pikmin? Or whatever that was. I'm okay with... Oh, boy. All right. I just want to carry this way fast. If there is a burrowing snagger, I don't want to deal with it. Yes, just go fast. Oh, they're... Wait, what? I am super... I'm lost. Okay. What else is new? Figures. The lustrous element. That's worth a lot. A thousand? All right. Hold on. Just to check... Okay, so for some reason the game just wasn't giving me credit, but we made it. All you have to do is take care of the pili pileated, pileated, whatever. We're done. 
Okay. Here we go. Hopefully this is a rest floor. Yes, nice, okay. Butterflies, kill them for their treasures. Looks like there is the, um... Oh, we got a spray, bitter spray. Very cool. So that evens us up. Six a, six a piece. And we've got the butterflies here. Yeah, this looks like this is probably a rest floor if I had to guess. Oh, there's Mamudas. So they can help pound our Pikmin into dust. Please do so. Oh, there's a Glimp Beetle too. I would like to have some of my Pikmin be around so I can attack it. Give us the farts. Yeah, I think this variety of the Glimp Beetle only gives out the Nectars. Which if it gave out something better than Nectar, like a potion, Yes, beautiful. Okay, so we're getting plenty of nectar, plenty of uh, potions here. Realistically speaking, oh, there's two potions. Oh, we killed the Mamuda. <laughs> that is not what I wanted you guys to do. If we remember, Mamudas are key to having your Pikmin become flowered. They will pound your Pikmin into the ground. Oh, we got some. Uh... Oh, I lied. I thought there weren't candy pop. I I read something that said there weren't going to be candy pop buds in this one, but it lied to me. Alright, so if we could stop killing the Mamuda and just let him slap chop our Pikmin. Yes. All of you. Don't attack it. Well, no, oh no, no, stop. <laughs> maybe I just need to have them in my possession and then maybe they won't try to kill it every 10 seconds. Stop it. He's trying to help us and you're just trying to kill him. Leave Mamuda alone! Yeah, there's a lot of ways to get, uh... Looks like nectar and potions and stuff like that. There's another potion right there. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, I guess if you're not walking away with a ton of potions and nectars and stuff on this floor, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, that should pretty much flower up most of our Pikmin. I'm not super concerned about it just because I'm not super concerned about it. All right, now what am I hurting with the most? I started with 20 blues, 20 yellows. Um, what has the most utility? I feel like maybe blues do. So we'll go with that. Once again, I thought that there weren't going to be candy pop buds. I was lied to. So whoever told me that, um, you're a filthy liar. And I will hold this against you until right now. Okay, so two more floors today. Oh boy, this looks horrible. Um. Oh boy, I oh I hate this. I'm feeling a little swampy. Yeah, this is gross. Let's see if I can... Oh no. Stop. I don't want you to drown. Get over here. Alright. Um, nothing feels safe. Um, I hate this. Okay. I'm trying to like very carefully... I'm glad I got blue Pikmin. Once again, did not know that. That was not... There was no additional knowledge that I had of this. I've just seen in certain cases where it's like this dungeon is hard because it won't have certain resources but that's all that I know. Alright. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna catch you head on. Try to kill both of you here. Alright, I think I lost one purple. Not ideal, obviously. If I get on the other side of you. You're like not hitting it on its bum. Hit his bum! What are we are we are we struggling here? What are we what are we doing, boys? Oh, we're losing purple, so that's unacceptable. Oh, he's running away. Get him! Get his butt! Get him right on his hiney! I guess that's what I should have done. I I didn't pull him fur fur enough. I didn't pull him fur enough! 
far enough out. That was my fault. Okay, so this level sucks, and I hate it. I don't trust anything besides blue Pikmin to be carrying these treasures to that little stump. This is probably going to take a lot of them, too. 15? Do I have 15? Should. I candy pop butted them. Got lucky. Alright, where are... I don't want anything but blue. I'm trying to very... Little, little, mid, little micro whistle there. That should do it. Okay. There are 15 of you. I just watched it. You playing me for a fool game? And... As you can see, if you didn't... Uh, oh, no. If you didn't bring enough blue Pikmin or whatnot, you can uh, use the... The additional candy pop buds, which what I've seen said there wasn't any again. The nutrient silo, get that nut. How do you feel about peanut butter viewers? You more of a uh, crunchy? Maybe a smooth person when it comes to your peanut butter? All right, I don't want to risk any more of this. So once again, this will just be blues, only blues. As I try to weave, nope. Anything that's not a blue can get the heck out of my life. Oh, that is a blue, and I just threw it. That was dumb. All right, hold on. Oh, game. I just... Just make this easy on me. Come on, it's the final area. It's the final countdown. All right, no more no more anything's but blues. All right, let's sneak past the Wally Wog quickly. This music is all over the place. But we have to unearth the ground butthole here. Have our blue Pikmin hammer away at it. Today, let's go. It's like picking off a scab, it's kind of gross. There it is, all right, and that should be good. Moving on, I think we got one more floor. Okay, here we go, the final floor of today. Oh, uh, well, something is in here. Oh, Raging Bloister and Cannon Larva Beetles. That is super uncool. Oh, I hate this. All right, well, first things first. Um, don't know how I'm gonna do this, but obviously need to kill these Cannon Larvas because if I don't, then this is gonna be trouble. So, potion up our purples and go and make quick work of these guys, hopefully. I don't feel comfortable at all approaching the Raging Bloister until all of the cannon larvae are dead. Those reds in there too, I mean that. Stay away from me. Oh, and you're getting the... No, stop. No, stop. Stop being my pigments. Oh, that shouldn't count. He's dead. Oof. Ew. I ate a ton of my purples. Oof. Alright, well, hold on. No, stop it. I'm almost tempted to just go for it. Yeah, just take it back. Run. Run to safety! I don't know where the exit is. Probably could have done that Raging Bloister fight a million times better than I did. Oops. Whatever. Close enough. The joy. Yeah. That fight was a joyless jewel. Yeah, but only one, one danger per... Um, I'm still not done, though, because I have to get rid of these cannon beetles, which are obviously still very dangerous. Which is... What my half of my squad of purples that I have left. This is horrible. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know if it was the um I don't know if it was the raging bloister. I mean the raging bloister was obviously eating my Pikmin. Um But if it was these stupid ceiling rocks. Yeah, I probably shouldn't just go with 15, but you know, what else can you do? You live and you learn. You're stuck with it. 
I'm sure there'll be candy pop bud some things in the future. Come on, boys, hurry up. We're licking our wounds here. Hopefully there is a... Uh... Hopefully there's some other sort of a arrest floor coming up. But that's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 2. We are halfway through the whole of Heroes, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.